Emer Quigley, we're here in your own home patch of Anna Duff. It's a couple of weeks out from the All-Ireland Final. What's been going through your head for the last five days since winning that semi-final against Wexford? Um, I suppose the overriding feeling is excitement um, for the next few weeks, like the ability and the chance, I suppose, to play in Crow Park. Um, I suppose so, Sunday we were so delighted to get over the line. Um, it was a really emotional day. Um, just thrilled, yeah, for the group of girls and yeah, really excited for the next couple of weeks. It's your first full season with this squad. You had a bit of a, a dalliance with it back before COVID, but I suppose you're in now, you're getting game time, you've been a key part of this run to the final. Um, what's that been like from your own personal point of view? Um, yeah, I suppose the personal development, like, I've definitely noticed it over the past couple of months. Um, yeah, I'm really grateful for Johnny for giving me the experience and the game time. I feel like I've improved a lot um, over the last couple of months and yeah, I feel like we all work so hard for each other that it's been such a team and collective effort um, that all the girls drive each other on so I think that's really helped me as well and I'm just really enjoying it. What's the abiding memory of the full-time whistle on, on Saturday, uh, Sunday? I wasn't on the pitch but... Um, <laughs> Uh, it was really tense environment, but like when Wexford missed that free, like I think we, I knew we had it and the relief. But like I knew we deserved it, and that was the main thing. I think, yeah, um, relief, but absolutely thrilled for the whole team. Like I think we really deserved the win, and we believed in ourselves. We knew we could do it, and that was the main thing getting over that line. But yeah, it was insane. <laughs> Has your phone stopped happening since? Uh, there was a few messages now on Sunday. I was looking at some questionable numbers and phone calls, but yeah, no, it's been a really good couple of days. Yeah. The next two weeks, of course, it's all about the game. Uh, it's a big day out for the whole county not just the team and, and press how do you isolate yourself from that little bit of buzz that started to generate around the county yeah i suppose we're just giving ourselves um obviously take in the last couple of days enjoy the experience like it's not every day that you get to play in Crow park um, but i suppose the main focus has to be in the game and on in the right place um, yeah just looking after ourselves um, getting our mindset right i suppose food prep like um, just getting our bodies ready for a tough game in two weeks time it's the most important thing but yeah I think we're ready for it and um, yeah really excited. You've already faced Toronto once in the championship this year, uh, happy that it's them again having beaten them already this season? I suppose it gives us the belief that we know we can do it if we put our minds to it like you know there's no reason why we can't and um, obviously they're a very tough opposition I think any team that we would have came up against would have been the exact same and um, obviously Toronto are a division one team now so it's going to be that little bit more tough, um, but yeah, we're ready for it. I think we are capable, and especially beating them before, like, you know, we know we can do it, so. How important is this game to Leitrim football in terms of, uh, I suppose, just setting that standard for those young kids that you're now an inspiration for? Yeah, like, it's great to see them with all the games, and I think they've been, like, the best support we've had all year in Ballinamore. Like, they're the people we can hear on the sideline, and, you know, it's been great for Leitrim football. Um, I suppose taking it back as well to the girls that were on the pitch, I think 17 years ago, um, doing it for them, like that's, I, I think we owe it to them to do it as well. Um, but the supporters that we've had behind us over the past couple of weeks have been, and months, um, they've been really good. So yeah, hopefully we'll get good support in a couple of weeks time as well. Listen, thanks for chatting to us and the very, very best of luck. Thank you.